Okay, this uh, is a photocopy of a Victorian ink drawing of my favourite uh, fluted Savoyard, which is French, mid 17th century, which I have recreated. Voila! One very sturdy, solid steel lump. Um, I'll just give you a quick 360. There's 26 flutes uh, on the top. And uh, what have we got? Okay, we've got large ocularia. This is why this uh, helmet, uh, or, or Savoyard, is sometimes called uh, Totenkopf, or Death's Head, because they have this appearance of a skull. Two eyes and a mouth, of course. These are the breaths, because obviously the, that's, this will get very, very hot in here. And uh, we go around, we see the buckle, which is how the helmet is actually opened. I'll show you that in a second. And then we've got some rosettes here. Again, all steel. There's no brass on this helmet at all. It's true black and white. Black because this is how it ends up black from the fire. And the white bits are simply just polished afterwards. I say simply, but it takes bloody ages. Uh, okay, now these rosettes um, are decorative, sure. But on the inside, the function is to hold a leather strip, which runs right away around, which is so that the lining would actually be sewed to this. Um, there's a pierced plume holder of course which is where the plume would be held or your colours. Two little metal wedges would go in and, and pin your your marks into there as well. Um, okay, Every single rivet on this helmet as well has been handmade. Uh, no expense has been spared at all because this wasn't really made for sale. Uh, this is a personal project. And uh, at the top uh, you can see an acorn finial which caps the top of the helmet. Right, so to get in, undo the buckle. This is much easier to do, by the way, were I, were I wearing the helmet. It's a bit cack handed like this because I'm actually higher than the helmet, but I haven't had a shave today and you don't want to see that. Okay, so that's how you get in. You undo the buckle, lock yourself in, and you're away. That's it. But to open the helmet, like a good high-end close helmet, it has a visor rest. So you undo the snack hook, lift the visor, you'd be doing this with your thumb actually on this, and then just like checking the oil on your car, that's it, the visor rest holds that in place. Again, one hand, down, closed. Now, the interesting feature I think about this particular Savoyard is the very large roll underneath the ocularia and the reason for that is as I can demonstrate with this rather nice Rapier of the period is if you were to get struck by a blade then it would run off using this ridge That's the function of the roll and Also you can see as well because this is a, a, is a good high-end Savoyard These rivets here are actually false. They're just for decoration, but on a lower-end helmet this would be to secure the visor or the face to this, which of course would mean it was fixed. So were a blade to run up or anything to run up, a pole axe, anything, of course, if that was fixed, it would tilt the helmet back, which would be completely useless in a combat situation. But this, free floating. So this helmet is actually for sale on the Nigel Cowan website at the moment. So have a look, www.nigelcowan.com. Thank you.